Good afternoon and welcome to Flannel Hill Farm. We finally got a little break from the rain. So, what new do I have to tell you? Uh, Big K is on his way back from picking up a tool chest, toolbox, tool something. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, like that. Whatever that is. Something like that. That's going to go in this spot that I cleared out. So, he's always wanted one of these things. And this one was my mom's. So, he wanted one of his own. So, he's going to figure that out. I am having pain in my right hand. It started out my ring finger knuckle. That one right there. That one hurt yesterday. And now my middle finger's kind of hurting me today. I don't know. I don't know if it's a cold. I don't know if it's the rain, barometric pressure, arthritis. I don't know. I have no idea. I would assume that based on my life choices and the way that my fingers are, I will probably have arthritis at some point in my life. Look at these chickens up on the coop. Just ridiculous. Whatever. Whatever. So, we have what Big K is telling me the last bit of insulation is now here. Um, also, you're, you're missing some of it. Also in the trailer across the street there. Um, we have the wood stove has been started. We got all the stuff for the wood stove. Um, one thing that I was hoping to get some ideas about, I, we want to, we're going to put it on this to begin with, but I think this is going to change. Um, we're looking at a piece of metal and then something else to go behind the wood stove. The only thing that I really, really, really want is for it to somehow continue to warm the house. So whether that be concrete that's going to absorb the heat and then release it, or metal that's going to deflect it back. Um, I don't really care. I just want to use up as much heat as we can that we're making. So... That, as well as I want to be able to hang my cast iron um, cookware on that wall somehow, in some way. So, if you have any ideas, down in the comments you can get me. Or you can get us at our email, flannahillfarm at gmail.com. It'll all be linked down below. Give us your ideas. Tell us what you've done. Um, if you email me, send me pictures. Send me ideas. I am open to ideas. So, insulation-wise, we don't have very much left. Now you're going to ask me, why are we switching insulations? A, this stuff has become very hard to find. This is five and a half inch for two by six walls. Our exterior walls are two by six. So this stuff has become really hard to find. So, we got what we could done with that. And then Big K had the idea on the wall, wherever we have water running in that bay, we're going to put two inch foam board and then put in your regular two by four mineral wall in. And that'll fill that, that space. Um, the foam board is because it becomes an air block. It, whatever insulation word, insert insulation word here. Um, it becomes a air barrier, vapor barrier, whatever that. So that's why we're going to do that. And we only really have this North wall left to do. And then we'll be done. Insulation wise, we got to do plumbing. We found 
the cement that we can use for these lower temperatures. That's why we weren't putting the, the vent pipe is all sitting there, but it's not cemented in. And that's why, because it had been so cold that the cement that we had wouldn't work. And we finally found one can of the cold weather cement. So I would assume that doesn't happen around here very often. So they don't carry it very often down here. So that's where we're at. We can get going now. It's been so rainy that this red clay stuff that we have down here in the Ozarks stains. It gets everywhere. It's sticky. It's gross. This stuff, this stuff right here. Um, so all the way around our house, we have that red clay stuff. So you either go through red clay, you go through a swamp, you go to try to get to the house. So we've been kind of treading lightly in that area. Hopefully in a couple of days. Sun's actually out more than I thought it would be today. So maybe, maybe in a couple days it'll be dry enough that we can just haul stuff back and forth and not really worry about it. These puppies are nuts. Uh, puppy training. Kona is very, very good. I went into town the other day and met up with my best friend and her mom and Kona met them out in public and was perfectly fine. She's a fantastic dog. Uh, Creed, I don't know. I won't. I'm kind of refusing to take him in a car because he gets very car sick a lot and so I don't want to deal with it and so I've been refusing to take him but um big K says maybe he'll grow out of it I'm just not going to be the one to test it so we are doing that training her is going well he is kind of stubborn. Big K's having to work through that with him. And we're looking, talking, thinking about when it would be a good time to fix them. I would prefer to wait, but we got to figure out what is best for them and for us and find our answer. Um, our vet will do it any time. He recommends that we wait too. Um, but it is what it is and we got to figure out what's best for us. I just don't really want, I really feel bad if they've gone through all those growing pains and then we fix them a little too early and then they get their growth stunted and they went through all that for nothing. But you got to do what you got to do. So Um, the reason we're getting them fixed is because they are half siblings. So we don't really want puppies from half siblings. So that's where we're at there. And they are CKC registered. Um, and those are kind of hard to find. So I don't think we'll be able to find another CKC puppy to breed with them, but I don't think we really want puppies anyways. That's not why we got them, so that's that. Um, I think that's all I got. It's just very, I don't know if you can see this. It is very wet, like sloshes. It's gross, very wet. Um, Benny boy. Monkey Monk, what are you doing? Monkey. What are you doing, Monk? So that's pretty much all I got for you. Uh, we're still...